Factory Model School. It refers to a school that exists from over a century ago. Surprisingly, our today's modern school is actually the same as that kind of that school. In this modern era, is it still relevant? My name is Muhammad Aji Pangestu, the representative of Universitas Pakuan for Pemilihan Mahasiswa Berprestasi Nasional 2019. Sistem pendidikan yang baik menjadi faktor penting bagi kemajuan suatu negara dan peradaban dunia. Jokowi berpendapat kualitas SDM dapat ditingkatkan melalui perbaikan sistem pendidikan dan revitalisasi pendidikan vokasi yang disesuaikan dengan kebutuhan industri dan perkembangan teknologi. Indeed, education is one of the most important factor in country. It plays a pivotal role in achieving the sustainable development goals. But however, there are several problems in our educational system. After conducting a preliminary research, researchers around the world agree that our educational system was initially designed in the industrial ages. That is intended to chain up factory workers. Every historical era has its distinctive needs and goals. And the needs and goals in the industrial ages were of course different from our modern world needs today. We are facing the Industrial Revolution 4.0 which urge us to be creative and innovative. We must have the ability to communicate our ideas and collaborate with other people. But such skill can be achieved at school that is still insist still the industrial age values in terms of education that is intended for mass production and mass control. Furthermore, those industrial age mentality address three big issues to our educational system. The first is standardization. The focus on universal education and a centralized curriculum result in superficial uniformity and undermine individual uniqueness. And the second is incentive. Incentive in the form of grade and ranking system has changed student intention to learn from to overcoming their curiosity to simply just to get grades, which leads to the problem number three where the learning process itself is inauthentic. Such learning is inauthentic because most of which were forgotten even right after the exam day. Learning can be so much more than just memorization and retention. But sadly, the task score is the only thing that our society values. To overcome those problems, I propose M2 educational systems. By utilizing Division Innovation Theory of Everett Rogers, I diffuse Japanese character building education and Montessori learning method as the solution to restore the true intention of education in elementary school, which is to conduct a moral education and character building that are very luck in our today's conventional school. They are too focused in academic pursuit. M2 scheme main objective is to balance both hard skills and soft skills by cultivating great sensibility and high sense of morality, inner discipline, self-awareness, and fostering a good attitude. Good habits take time to be internalized at good habits. It may even take decades. Therefore, we suggest to invest our students' earlier stage of education for that purposes. Referring to these assumptions, students can still pursue academic purposes on a higher level of their education, where they are cognitively, psychologically, and morally ready. In my conclusion, by humanizing and personalizing our learning environment and learning process, and rearranging competency pride scale by implementing this M2 educational system, we can not only academically shape our future generation, but also motivate them to have a high sense of morality and a good attitude. My name is Muhammad Rajiv Pangestu, the representative of Universitas Pakuan for Pemilihan Mahasiswa Berprestasi Nasional 2019.